Mastering the Future Simple Passive. Shape your English future. Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our ongoing journey of mastering the English language. Today, we're delving into an exciting topic. The Future Simple Passive. This concept might sound a little intimidating, but don't worry. We'll break it down together, making it both understandable and easy to use in your daily conversations. The future simple passive is a tense we use to express an action that will be done to the subject in the future. In simpler terms, it's used when someone else will do the action, and the focus is on the subject. To form this, we use, will be plus past participle. The past participle is simply the ed form for regular verbs, or the third form for irregular verbs. Here's an example for you. The report will be finished tomorrow. Now, let's dig a little deeper and look at how we can create our own sentences using the future simple passive. Let's use the sentence. John will paint the house next week. If we want to change this into the future simple passive, we shift our focus from John to the house. The result would be the house will be painted by John next week. We've put the emphasis on the house, making the sentence passive. Of course, learning English is all about practice. Here are a few more examples to help solidify your understanding. Active, they will launch the new product next month. Passive, the new product will be launched next month. Active, the gardener will plant the trees. Passive, the trees will be planted by the gardener. And that wraps up our tutorial on the future simple passive. With practice and patience, you'll soon find yourself using this tense naturally in your everyday conversations. Remember, the key to mastering English is consistent practice and exposure. Stay curious, keep practicing, and you'll continue to see improvements in your English journey. See you in our next lesson, where we will explore more exciting aspects of English grammar.